the difficulty level of the weight loss game varies from person to person. Some might want to achieve it for better health, while some just want it for the gram. Most of the time as we proceed with weight loss, the pace of the scale's numbers going down goes down too. But is it always a natural slowdown? Or are you making grave mistakes? Today, we'll be counting down 10 such common mistakes which might be slowing you down in your weight loss marathon. Nope, we aren't leaving you right there. We'll also be giving you the best tips to help you break through it, just like a true bestie. Mistake number one, the invisible loss. If there's a loss, there's gains too. This is a fact one must remember while trying to burn fat. On the basis of hormone levels, food, and water intake, your body's weight fluctuates. It's absolutely normal to not see a change in your scale number. Nope, checking it 10 times isn't gonna change anything, unless your scale's faulty, of course. At times, one might be gaining muscle mass while also losing fat. This can end up looking like a no net loss, but in reality, you just aren't realizing your progress. See, you've been cursing at yourself for no reason. Therefore, it's recommended to use parameters such as body fat percentage instead of weight to understand your progress. So even if you see a loss plateau, don't snap at your trainer, just trust the process. Mistake number two, unawareness. Ah, I worked out for a good one hour. I must have burned so many calories. Meh, this one slice of cheesecake won't do anything. And that's how so many health regimes have been broken. Being unaware of what you put in your body can nullify all of your efforts. There are studies to prove that keeping track of your diet can help you lose weight faster. To do so, you can use calorie calculators to get an estimate of your calorie intake. Using a food diary and taking pictures of your meals can be helpful too. Moreover, it'll give you valid justification for spending a good 15 minutes just clicking on your food. Mistake number three, the incomplete diet. As important as it is to track your meals, it is important to make sure your meals have everything you need. The single most important macromolecule the body needs for weight loss is protein. Yes, forget muscle building. We're talking about its need just for weight loss alone. You can boost your metabolism by 80 to 100 calories per day by just consuming protein at 25 to 30% of your calories. So in a way, you're bringing down what you need by extracting more from what you're eating. Smart choice, right? It helps in controlling the urge to munch on snacks every now and then. High protein helps in regulating appetite hormones, such as ghrelin. It also prevents a metabolic shutdown, keeping your weight loss bicycle rolling in the deep. Mistake number four, starvation. Dieting is a word our generation is seemingly obsessed with. The first mistake we pointed out was an invisible loss, but be aware that there might not be any loss happening at all, and that's all right. At times, hitting a plateau just means that you need a break. Constantly putting a strain on yourself by being too restrictive is harmful as well. Once you reach such a stage, try maintaining your body fat levels for a few months. This can later be followed by weight loss aimed workouts. There is a sweet spot one needs to hit between going overboard with eating habits and starving. Finding it difficult to do so? Watch our video on 10 foods to eat on a weight loss diet linked down below to decide the best weight loss diet for yourself. We have a small tip for you. The best approach is to increase the calorie intake per day and burn what you take. This way, it'll be translated in the form of constructive gains and you'll keep going up with nothing to stop you. Mistake number five, binge eating. Well, just because nothing's stopping you doesn't mean binge eating is fine. When taken in small amounts, even eating a lot feels like barely grabbing a snack. It doesn't matter whether you're binge munching on healthy options or junk. Your body doesn't give a stepmotherly treatment to calories coming from any source. It is an absolute myth that eating small meals many times a day is healthy. 
The ones who came up with that wanted to ruin everyone's diet plans. What an awful person! According to studies, there is, in fact, little to no relation between meal frequencies and weight loss. You can instead opt for techniques such as mindful eating and intermittent fasting. The first technique requires you to eat without distractions. No music in the background and no Friends episodes playing. Savor each bite you take. This isn't important just from the enjoyment angle, but it helps your brain too. With no distraction, your natural signals help your brain understand how much is enough. This method can help you curb your binge eating habits. Intermittent fasting, on the other hand, involves deliberate no food intake periods up to 15 to 24 hours. That sounds like a lot. <clears throat> so is eating 15 times a day in small amounts. We know what you're thinking. Who, me? Oh yeah, we've heard about your eating habits. Mistake number six, the unbalanced workout. Weight loss discussions are incomplete without describing what an ideal workout should look like. Why? Because this is the area we make major mistakes in. Overdoing one type of exercise and completely neglecting the other one is a common mistake. Resistance training such as lifting weights should make up a major part of your sweating hours. This helps maintain muscle mass while keeping your body well toned. Cardio exercises such as jogging, cycling, and swimming, on the other hand, can increase your heart rate. This is an effective way of burning the harmful visceral fat building up around your organs. A higher heart rate also pumps more oxygen-rich blood to the cells. This is the second area after diet you must find a balance in. A little of everything is the key to the perfect workout. Mistake number seven, wrong fluid intake. Taking what we don't need and leaving what we do. I guess this is the mantra we apply to all areas of our lives, including our diet. Let's talk about something we all need, water. The undefeated warrior in the battle against weight loss. Studies have proven that consuming 17 ounces of water 30 minutes before meals can significantly boost your weight loss. It can boost calorie burning by 24 to 30%. But we did say take what we don't need, remember? Let's talk about your love for alcohol. We aren't going to demonize it, but just accept it. Sugary alcoholic beverages such as wine and beer is a big no when weight loss is what you're aiming for. Let's forget the sugar it has for a second. Alcohol itself contains seven calories per gram. <clears throat> but if it's something you absolutely want on the weekend, Kindly stick to drinks such as vodka mixed with zero calorie beverages. That's the max we can allow you. No more negotiations. Mistake number eight, being nocturnal. Humans need sleep during nighttime. Say that 10 times over and let it sink in. If that doesn't help, maybe have it as your phone's wallpaper. Poor sleep cycles are proven to be among the biggest risk factors for obesity. You have a 55 to 89% greater risk of becoming obese than that girl Rebecca who sleeps on time. Nope, being a social butterfly till 2 a.m. isn't gonna help your summer body goals. So stop saying thank you next to all your plans of sleeping well. Yeah, that applies to you too, Ariana, in case you're watching. Mistake number nine, undiagnosed medical conditions. Yeah, such cases do exist. Medical conditions driving weight gain do go unnoticed. There are various conditions such as hypothyroidism, polycystic ovarian syndrome, PCOS, and sleep apnea. In such cases, either the condition itself or the medications can make weight loss way harder than normal. Certain food addictions can also be a hurdle in the way. About 19.9% of the people in North America and Europe were classified as food addicts in a 2014 study. Looks like President Trump isn't the only one with insane food habits. If you deem yourself fitting in the criteria of any of the above mentioned conditions, well, then you aren't fit. We advise you to seek medical attention. Mistake number 10, unrealistic expectations. In every fitness video we make, Setting unrealistic bars is a mistake we always point out. 
No machine has 100% efficiency and the capacity to work perpetually. Same as your body. Setting your goals equivalent to a magazine cover fitness model isn't fair. No, we aren't demotivating you. We're just telling you the truth that Photoshop doesn't work in real life. Weight loss is a gradual process and needs patience. Persistence is the key, no matter which diet plan or celebrity trainer you follow. If you've reached a healthy point and your scale doesn't seem to go any lower, stop putting more strain. Now that you've achieved it with your hard work, it's time to focus on the scale of self-acceptance. The scale that should go only one way, higher. But that's a whole nother video. Do you think weight loss hacks work or is there no shortcut for losing those extra pounds? Let us know in the comment section below. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share and subscribe to Bestie. Wait, what kind of Bestie would we be if we didn't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video and enjoy.